Hi, I'm Paul Brody. Back in my shop, we're on Aramaki Build Part 2. Thanks for tuning in. We have merchandise on sale. It's 20% it's off. And that is the promo code. And that lasts until Christmas. So, if you buy some stuff, that'd be great. We're going to get back to the bike. Uh, we're going to assemble some more more parts i'm having fun with this i like building race bikes and uh i think the next step is to put the motor in this is a, a little bit of a, a tricky operation because i put it onto the onto the car jack and then i have to move it round and get it into position, so a little tricky. This is a really handy car jack. I've used this a lot. I had these bolts nickel plated. They look, they look really nice when they get nickel plated. I think it looks good when it all comes together. This is the space for the carburetor. And that goes like that. See that? That's, that's the curve of the motor. We need the spacer. Let's put the number plate on. That's nice and easy. It's a tricky little thing to put together if you don't get the steps right. That's a lot easier there. Okay. I've had Silver velocity stacks, and I've had black ones, but I like the pewter. That's what this color is if you're anodizing it. Uh, I think it looks very nice. See how the holes have to match up? They match up those, those holes in the carburetor. That's for the low speed air. I think you can tell that I'm pretty happy with that. So we need to hook up the cable. We got the cable on on the throttle, so we'll put the cable in here and put this on the bike. This is where you sometimes almost need three hands, but you don't have them, so. Okay, there goes the needle. Now this goes on. There we go. So that's, that's the end result. There we go. Okay. Here's the breather bottle. I, I took it apart, got it anodized. So this is the screen that goes in the top and you can see how it's got a little bit of a curve to it. And that goes like that and it, it's a, a press fit just by hand, like that. And then when it's in, it can't fall out. And then from in the top, you get to see all the mesh. So I think what we'll do is to put this in. Oh, we need Loctite. Let me see if it's a difference in size on the ends. Oh yeah, it's a little different. that Loctite sets up, that's not going anywhere. 
that's the electric mount. That's why there's no holes or anything in there because I haven't figured out what electrics to use yet. Let's put the foot pegs on now. Is there right here? Okay, we got the shifter arm to put on now. That's a shortened shaft, but it just fits in there like it's supposed to so you can see the shifter linkage. I always did like stuff like shifter linkage and race bikes, things like that. These heim joints are made out of aluminum as well so it doesn't weigh a whole lot. So to keep things light, what I did, this is actually 5 sixteenths but I've got a 6 mil allen screw can you see how I made up a, it's like a, it's not a nut really, but it's got a thread in it. And that threads like that. So it saves weight because otherwise you'd have to have a 5 16 bolt with a 5 16 nut. So this is, this is my way of saving weight. It's a countersunk Allen screw as well. So these don't often come loose much at all. So. I think that's a good system. So that's what it looks like on the end. You can see the thread and the bolt comes through, not all the way, but most of the way. So there, you can see how the shifter linkage works like that. See that's an eccentric, you see how that works? That's how you set the height of your brake pedal. So depending where the eccentric is, you can change, you can change the angle to suit the rider. It's a good feature. That's a bit of Delrin, it's very light. Okay, we have a break. Great. And it looks like I got that angle pretty pretty well going down through there. This is what holds into the cable. There's four Allen screws. And that clamps the cable, stops it from slipping. Good. Next for installation is the gas tank mount.
And then this is what holds the damper at the back. I, I had to make a longer one, otherwise I would have had to notch out the shell of the tank. And I didn't want to do that, so we got a new one. So the old one sits in a box. It wants to go on. There we go. That's a good fit. And then I can move that forward. I can see I can move that back and forth to get it into the middle of the stroke, but it never goes all the way anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, the steering damper is mounted. Look, the sprocket fell off. I know there's no master. That's okay. Do that later. I guess the torque stay goes on the other side. Okay, now she's going to fit. This just clears. There's very, there's very little space right, right here for the shift linkage, but it does just clear, just. There we go. That's where the inserts go into and then they get moved, moved out, hose clamps put on and that's what mounts the gas tank. That's sort of how the system works like that. That's, that's where the rubbers go and hold each of the tubes in place. And I like how the tank just kind of floats where it is. You can't see anything holding it down. What I want to do is to take this off the stand. We're going to put it on the bathroom scales and see how much it weighs. I have very accurate bathroom scales. I want you to know that. Now the motor doesn't have all its parts in it. There's probably, I estimate five or six pounds missing out of the motor. We have to add that into the calculation, but let's just have some fun and we'll weigh the bike. I'll go get the scales. I don't know if we zeroed it, but whatever. So what do we got there, 98 pounds? 98 plus 108. 206, that's light. Cause the engine's missing, I would say five or six pounds. It is a, a dry weight. I don't, I don't have oil in the forks or oil in the transmission or fuel in the tank, but that's like, you said 206? That's light. Wow, okay, great. 
Well, thank you very much for watching our episode. That's we got a light bike here. I'm, I thought it would end up being like maybe over 210, 215, but 206. That's nice. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Mitch and I like coffee. If you buy us coffees, that fuels our channel. Take care. Happy New Year.